Hello, I'm David Pollack, I'm the Pink Poet. Hey. And, uh, hey. <laughs> if Bob, I always say if Baba could be the gay gay poet, then I can. Uh, I'm the Pink Poet. Um, I'm very aware, as we were reminded earlier, that it's uh, World Mental Health Month. So this is my gesture towards that. And I'd like to dedicate it to Alison Dunn to thank her for her inspiration. <laughs> this, this arises out of my experience of being a service user at the Jasmine Centre, which did, of course, give me a great deal of help. But uh, mm. sometimes in order to live with what's going on, you have to be a bit reactive. So this is my reaction as well to uh, cognitive behavioural therapy, CBT. The waiting room, old copies of Hello. Hello, you're not like us, you failed. The woman opposite looks rather scared. I ask her if she's mad to cheer her up. <laughs> the pictures in his office are all bland. I'm grateful there are none of wife and kids. He's leafing through the pages of my file and I am looking at his wedding ring. I'm here because I panic, that's agreed. But still the word disorder is applied. How well they love those words that start with D. Dysfunction, difficulty, deficit. My diagnosis, formally applied by someone who has doctor in his name, I'm told that I'll be having CBT, not counselling or psychotherapy. <coughs> of course, it has a jargon all its own. Avoidance is a thing you must avoid. <laughs> Safety behaviours must be overcome. Exposure will be central to the plan. Exposure must be focused and prolonged. It must be graded and repeated day by day. I must record it on my homework sheet. His whiteboard shows the graphs which plot the scheme. And if I don't succeed with all this work, of course, I'll only have myself to blame. I notice how that word can rhyme with shame, and shame is at the heart of this mad game. I've fainted on the platform in the tube, and also in the Royal Academy. Another do was in an airport lounge, Oh, and my bedroom with a hopeful date. By far the worst was at a school in Wales. The lock-up in the gents was occupied, so down I lay upon the smelly floor behind a row of pissers at the trough. Well, doctor, here's my diary for next week. Exposures written down for every day. And even if I fail to get much done, the sight of your hot crotch will turn me on. <laughs> Just a quick plug before I go for um, Pink, the metrosexual open mic night, which is, as you know, is at the Red Tent on the last Tuesday of the month. And this month is a special month for us as well because we're having a second one. We already had one this month, but the, the last Tuesday of this month Pink at the Red Tent in Pocklington's Walk will feature You Know Who as the featured artist and I've got some musical items and some bawdy lyrics and some other stuff, a whole mixture of little categories. So I hope you'll come along and uh, share with us on the last Tuesday of this month. Mm -hmm. Cheers.